our people, our young ladies are going to have it a little hard in the game of life one day. Life in the game is reality. They're going to have it hard because it's so mental, ment mentally messed up about you got money, your boy or girl, you don't got no money, certain people might like you, certain people might think you're popular, and sometimes you're not popular enough. Do you believe that you somebody when you get along after the whole day is over? Do you feel like you ain't nobody? And I know I'm a philosopher. I know I'm a minister. I know I fall from being intelligent and then into a broken language. And then I know that I suffer hard because of the pain over my son. So I'm trying to get back on track. I have a reason why I'm not where I should be. I have a few reasons. You know, one of them is trying to love a guy. Most of all, my son being murdered. And like a black girl told me today, when you got so many adversaries up against you, it must mean that something is great upon your life. And I just want y'all to know. Before 2008 really break in for me. Because at the end of 2018. That's what I'm talking about. 2018. It's going to be a real breakthrough. Through the 8. The 8 means the year complete. <laughs> we all got to see what God mean about that. But then we got to help God by putting the right stuff in us. So that we can um, be successful at what he wants us to do. We all think that we're here doing things that we want to do. Everything is working together for the good of the Lord. You know, people working and being motivated and good to one another, another and nice. The devil was pretty mad today because he kept trying to make people be evil. And then God's love just superseded. I saw it. The, super, the supersession started on Sunday when the devil was mad because the atmosphere was turned over to the good. You know, we got to watch when the atmosphere be turned over to the good because the devil already be mad at the little bit God do. God's so beautiful. His son, Jesus, he showed and... He showed up, he showed up and showed out on Sunday. And this is Monday, Tuesday, he showed out Tuesday. And I just want to trust him in my life, y'all, because I want to be successful. And I haven't wanted to be successful for a long time. And any time I thought about success, I tell the Lord I'm a little scared and I'm not ready. But I'm going to have to swallow this pill. And um, I'm having a sad day, y'all, because I got a revelation from a person. No, he ain't did nothing wrong. You know, some people think he's a wonderful person. I do, too. I think he's a wonderful person, but... um. He don't mean to break my heart. I just shouldn't have left it in the way. And it's making me cry that I should be smarter. <laughs> Keep my heart out the way. You know, when I finish recording this, I'll be hoping that I can download this on my YouTube because it don't last long. It don't record. I don't know why. YouTube on live, don't record. I have to be transparent today because I plan to grow. God already know I'm not really a humble person. I'm more like a warrior. Telling evil to bow down. So even if it better change, you bow down. The whole world confused about what evilness is. Lies, 
jealousy, hatred, messiness, doing something, starting stuff and keeping trouble, keeping this, keep the work of evil. And um, I'm not about that. Y'all probably don't think I'm thankful. I'm thankful for what I know about what God is going to do. What he been doing. And it's a word I'm trying to say, but he trying to do what he really want to do to the highest extent. I love the Lord. I drink. I smoke. I didn't even get a drink tonight. I was so kind of moved by this gentleman and all of these men in the world that's on their money hype. <laughs> Skinny, intelligent girl don't fit in. The love of money is the root to all evil. And which one of the things God is saying to people, it's not fair that y'all say the money is the root to all evil. You're very, you being very ignorant. You trying to take a scripture, scripture and be stupid by it or just not give it the value that the scripture is really about. You people, if you don't know the love of money, scripture, quit saying the money is the root to all evil. Because people that really believe and know God and have holiness in his faith, we don't like that y'all don't understand how the devil will use you to say stuff that's not accurate. You know, y'all, when you hungry... <laughs> When you ain't got no money, you find yourself, you the hungriest when you ain't got no money. Oh, you got money in your pocket. Money in your pocket. Not even really hungry. Off you go places and don't know what to eat because you got so many choices of what you can't eat. I remember my pastor preached that. When you got money, you don't worry about what you go eat. Many of y'all might not get a chance to see this video, but it means a lot to me because this is my new opening. I have wounds that got me in pain. So, this is my opening. And then I just pray that people do view what I'm saying. I hope that I'm able to put this on YouTube. Because I need to start becoming somebody. My pastor say, the things that I write about the word don't mean nothing unless I talk about it and use the material. Yeah, I just found out today I'm not really loved by the person I'm with. <sighs> so y'all walk with me in my sadness, right? Like I need YouTube, <laughs> I need internet. I I just I see a lot of money execution. Oh, it's right here on the news. Look, mom, it's on the news. What? The school? Right here. Look, our school. It's in our school right here, Annie H. Elementary School in Emeryville.
Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I miss you. It's all right. It'll be another time. Now, this is when you know God. 